Hello everybody, I'm Aerofade and this is 5 top tips to make your city be beautiful. Tip number 1. Make the most of your coast. The coastlines in city skyline can be a little bit bland, with many of them simply being green grass that gives away to water without pores. You can create the effect of a coastal seawall by carefully placing a road along the coast. If you use a nice, wide, tree-lined road, you get the effect of a coastal boulevard and will even create more land for you to zone and build on. In addition to looking great, a coastal boulevard can act as a main road to the rest of your city. Don't connect it to your main grid at too many points and traffic will flow quickly along the coast. Throw a bus route each way around the coast and you'll have a beautiful and really functional addition to your city. Tip number 2. There are some visual and effects mods on the workshop that you should definitely rush off and install once this video ends. The first one you should install is the Sunshafts mod by Ulysses. The mod does as the name suggests, it adds sunshafts to the game which, when you catch them, makes any scene simply beautiful. You'll find the links to all of the workshop content I mentioned in the description below. If you've got the PC for it, you should also install the Ambient Occlusion mod, also by Ulysses, and the Dynamic Resolution mod by Enlight. You can go and read the mod details along with the control keys on their Steam Workshop pages, but the summary is that they will make your game more beautifuler. Is that a word? While you're at it, get rid of all that ugly purple pollution through the No More Purple Pollution mod. Now that the game looks amazing, you'll want to install Enlight's First Person Camera mod. It lets you walk your streets in first person or attach your camera to any car, train or person in your city. It's actually quite entertaining to attach the camera to a random bus and hop on board for a trip around your city. Tip number 3. There are many amazing buildings in the game, but plenty more are cropping up in the workshop. As a starter for 10, you'll want to take a look at Ghoulers work as well as some of the cool feature buildings such as the Seattle Space Needle, Stark and Wayne Towers, Chirper HQ and other famous landmarks. There are many more being added every day. Once you're done finding those on the workshop, jump over to the parks category and grab the baseball and football fields, the Enterprise Park and whatever else strikes your fancy. Tip number 4. Your city can be made a lot more beautiful if you take the time to think about building your districts along thematic lines. For example, your university could have playing fields nearby, a handy tube station or a series of bus stops, maybe even the science centre and perhaps it could all be surrounded by high capacity roads. And there's no reason you can't make your industrial zones look fitting as well. Surround your cargo station with industrial zones, place car parks from your workshop downloads, use the dirt paths to increase the area of the cargo terminal that looks gravelled and make bypass routes for trains so that there's no backlog around the station. Likewise, your downtown areas can be built up around attractive monuments and parks. The sunken plaza from the workshop is particularly fitting for this. Throw in a few wide tree-lined boulevards across your downtown and you'll soon have a bustling commercial centre anyone can be proud of. Tip number 5. Break out of the grid. It's really tempting to lay out big grids with efficient major roads feeding them, but it can get really, really boring to look at. This doesn't mean you have to abandon the grid altogether, just try mixing up your road layouts a bit. Lay a main road that follows the terrain, perhaps the coast or a hill, and then fan roads off that are also curves. You will give your city a natural, organic look and keep things interesting. I've been Aerofade, this has been 5 top tips for making your city's skylines town beautiful. Let us know what you think in the comments below, subscribe for more builder and sandbox game content, and say hi to us on Twitter, we'd love to hear from you.